Heads up. Hello everyone, Dana 14th Prime here. I want to do a quick heads up video today. Because I saw on Instagram that Hot Toys officially released the Return of the Jedi Emperor. And as well his Royal Guards. So I'm out here on Sideshow. Link in the description below. Please jump through the link and check out all the picks. Put your order in if you like. You're fulfilling your destiny. I want to start here because there's two different views of the Emperor. There is a deluxe version that includes his throne, as well as a lightsaber hilt of Luke Skywalker. Surprisingly, only $314. I thought that might approach upwards of like 400 bucks. So pleasantly surprised there. Not to say that 300 bucks is not a lot of money, but when you think about the base figure being 220, which makes sense and was pretty predictable, I thought that'd be about the price to be adding, you know, 95 bucks, call it whatever, to get the throne, which is LED and all that, didn't seem too bad. And then I'm glad to see they priced the Royal Guards on the lower end as well. I know a lot of folks are gonna to wanna to pick up a couple of these as kind of background fixtures for their display. Not me personally, I don't uh, do 400 bucks in background characters, but uh, I know people really wanna get this setup going. So let's jump in and check out the Emperor here. Uh, it looks like he's gonna be delivered around this time next year. So first quarter, call it 2019. I will say, I mean, that looks really sweet. Look at that. That's what you could have going in your display there with a couple of these Royal Guards, the Emperor on the chair. The chair looks really good. It's difficult to tell the material and stuff, but for 90 bucks, LED lights, it looks really good. And then Vader over here, and I don't know what version of Vader this is. I can't really tell them apart that much, um, but we know still out there somewhere in the future is Return of the Jedi Vader, uh, but given the Empire just dropped recently, um, Return of the Jedi Vader probably won't be dropping for a year plus. So here's the pics. I mean, it looks really good. Nice LEDs in the overhead there. The Emperor really, the Emperor's guards look all nice and clean. Of course, the Emperor's all black robe. Uh, you do get this walking cane. Uh, the likeness is very, very good, I think. And the expression is very, very good. So I think, uh, it looks great, and this guy did all the rounds through the conventions and toy fairs last year, so we, we've seen him. He's just now finally going up, but I will say, I don't think I ever really noticed in all the pics I had seen before just how good the head sculpt is on this guy. There's the lightsaber hilt of Luke's that comes with the deluxe version. You get these uh, lightning effects, so those are pretty cool. But right there, just look at that face. I mean, really does look good. And he seems to sit on that throne very well. So, very nice. I got to say, overall, very pleased with kind of the package, the options they're giving you, throne or no throne, and then the price points. I mean, I don't think you can really complain if you were looking for an emperor figure, uh, the options you have here, what they're including, uh, and then their respective price points. So, happy to see that. And there's just different poses here. I'll just click through. You can jump through the link. But look at that. Got that smirk there, kind of dirty grin. Looks like a lot of good shading on the head because it's all wrinkled and messed up, we know, right? From the fight with Mace, and I think they pull that off well. Looks like you might have some more LEDs there on the arm of the chair as well. So a couple spots of LEDs, the lightsaber hilt, some extra hands, and then your traditional base in the deluxe rack up. Again, I won't go into the Regular version, but 220 bucks, and it's everything except the chair and the hilt. Lightsaber hilt of Luke. Now let's check out the Royal Guard. 205 bucks. Again, same timing of delivery. It looks good. They've kind of layered the look to it here. They didn't have to do this for the movie effect, but they're doing it for some of this kind of Crimson Guard, call it bonus effect, I'll call it. But this would be the movie look. Very stoic, just chilling out, watching the door. Got the pool cue in hand, so all of that is like spot on movie. Simple figure, so they can do it for the 205 bucks. And probably still make really good money, frankly, because there's just nothing complex really about this. Again, there's that look people are going to want to go for with the two guards. I think it could look really good. And here's more of this crimson guard effect, where underneath they've given the extra red outfits and everything, kind of like what we saw with the Black Series figure as well. So you have that option if you want to kind of make them more dynamic and more like fighters. Uh, some of that is under there, under the cloak. So that is pretty cool as well. I'm sure people are happy to kind of have that option. And it looks like he's just going to come with the big pull cue. and can hold that a number of different ways. You know, a few extra hands, 
the stick, a stand. You know, he's got some boots and everything we saw underneath. So pretty simple, but you know, 205 bucks. And if you can kind of rack a coupon on there as well, I think you'd be happy if you're looking to pick a couple of these guys up for your background effect of Emperor. So there you have it, guys. Hot Toys, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, Emperor Palpatine, and a couple different packups for you. The Royal Guard as well to go with them. For me, I'll be picking up, I think, the Emperor Deluxe Kit. I think for 314 bucks, actually feels like a good value to me. And I do see a nice display set up with sort of him in the throne, Jedi Luke, and then eventually probably Jedi Vader there. Fit nicely in a detolf, I'd hope, and, and look really good together. So if that's what I'll be going for. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. <laughs> Thanks for checking in. Again, link in the description below. Jump through that. Again, check me out on Instagram. Same handle as the channel here, Dan14Prime. Just starting that up, but want to build that in to kind of complement the channel here. So look for me out there. Thanks again. See you next time. You want this, don't you?